Did you ever wonder what non-Long Islanders think of us? Well, two Uniondale High School grads made a movie about that very topic. My Block, Strong Island. Hell, I thought Long Island was soft. I was from East Flappers, Brooklyn. I thought Long Island was soft. My moms told me we had to go. I was vexed. Everybody thinks that everything on Long Island is sunshine and paradise. You can go to places and you can see 20 and 30 million dollar homes, and obviously you can see shacks. When I moved here, it was like a gradient of like 60% white, 40% black. And then you had the white flight. White flight. White flight. One by one, folks just started moving out. All the white people. Even from out of state, when you say from Long Island, oh, you live in the Hamptons? I wish. We're hearing a young man has been shot to death. Opening fire on a teenage girl. For and whomever three men. gunned down a man in Hempstead. The people who are in these parts, they're not rich. You know what I'm saying? If you're rich, you're not living in Hempstead. Do you know how black people got to Long Island? Took it to school. Um, honestly, no, I don't. I, I know, know it's ships, boats. I don't know. I would assume the same way they came to America. Get that working, make somebody rich. What you have to understand about the migration, New Yorkers are made up of a lot of Carolinians and Virginia folks. New tonight, a disturbing case of racism on Long Island. Racism has never gone away. An African-American family getting a nasty letter claiming the Suffolk County village of Lindenhurst is overwhelmingly white and you don't belong here. But still, those same ghosts are still with us since, since 1865 that say, no, you're not welcome to. And the woman across the street came running out into the street, Judas, Judas, hollering at the people who was going to sell us the house. Did that kind of shake you up, Tony? I mean, I, I, mean, I know about it from reading about it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I actually lived it.